Right now, right here in Wichita, we're ready for what's new. What's next? Your Wichita Metro Chamber of Commerce has made great strides in 2011, positioning Wichita for powerful growth, big improvements, and continued success. Also new this year, the Chamber's President and CEO, Gary Plummer, who joined the Chamber in September. He brings more than 30 years of Chamber and economic development experience to Wichita. With a new president at the helm and exciting development on the horizon, the Chamber has outlined six strategic priorities to keep moving Wichita forward. Priority number one, create a better business environment through advocacy. The Chamber believes advocacy can and does play an important role in creating a positive business environment. In 2011, the Chamber's advocacy efforts helped usher in successful reforms on unemployment insurance and workers' compensation programs. The Chamber continued to support the National Institute for Aviation Research and the National Center for Aviation Training and Affordable Airfares. The Chamber is dedicated to building ongoing relationships with elected officials at all levels of government. The Chamber also remains focused on long-term tax reform strategy. Earlier this year, the Kansas House overwhelmingly passed SB1, which would considerably reduce corporate and individual income tax rates. We're glad that the Chamber supports a tax code that is beneficial to business as opposed to punish its business. The advocacy work that the Chamber does with our legislature continues to provide positive results with the business community. Priority two, elect pro-business candidates. With the election of Governor Sam Brownback and the number of pro-business representatives, the 2011 legislative session results have been welcome news for Wichita businesses. When our elected officials act in favor of businesses, in favor of growth, everyone in our community benefits. It's great to see the Chamber support candidates who promote and protect our businesses right here at home. As we approach the new election cycle, the Wichita Metro Chamber PAC is actively raising funds for 2012. The Chamber will analyze candidates' voting records and support those who favor our pro-growth, pro-business agenda. The Chamber also plans to provide direct campaign assistance to local and statewide pro-business candidates. Priority 3. Strengthen Wichita's Quality of Life Profile. In September, Visioneering Wichita made its sixth city-to-city -city visit, this time to take an inside look at Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In 2012, Visioneering will continue its long-term strategic plan to shape the future of South Central Kansas. Wichitans know our city is an excellent place to start a career or start a company, raise a family, or raise a toast. The Chamber takes pride in honoring those who make our community a great place to live and work. The Young Professionals of Wichita commemorated Founders Day by honoring 13 individuals for their efforts to keep Wichita a flourishing community. Through the Enhanced Community Project, YPW worked to landscape, paint, and repair 10 homes in 2011 with the help of 164 volunteers. It's the biggest impact the project has made to date. Being a young professional of Wichita, I know that we work very hard in our careers, but I also know that it takes a lot more to build a thriving community. We're very fortunate that our Chamber of Commerce also helps us find ways to contribute outside of work. Wichita really is a strong, lively community. Keeping the young professionals of Wichita politically informed was another of the Chamber's goals in 2011 by offering quarterly Q&A events with mayoral candidates, county commissioners, and Representative Mike Pompeo. The Chamber helped connect the young professionals to their elected officials. Priority 4. Help businesses invest here. The Chamber, along with the Greater Wichita Economic Development Coalition, supports efforts to improve Wichita's competitiveness for business investment. We continue to market our community aggressively. Meanwhile, the Chamber also plans to conduct 100 business retention and expansion visits in 2011 as part of the IDEA program. The Chamber hopes to serve as a catalyst for organic growth of local private sector companies by partnering with them on key industry events. We take pride in the work we do here and in our community. We appreciate all that the Chamber has done to make it possible for us to expand and reinvest in Wichita. Priority 5. 
help small businesses prosper. In 2011, the Chamber expanded its educational offerings for small businesses. This year alone, the Chamber hosted 11 different programs with more than 45 events. The Wichita Chamber has really propelled our business forward this year through their educational activities, through their ideas and tools they provided to our employees. It's really helped us to move the business forward. Priority six, promote businesses that build Wichita. Every year, it's the Chamber's pleasure to recognize those businesses in Wichita that strengthen and enrich our community, and 2011 was no exception. This year saw increased participation in all phases and events of the Chamber's Small Business Awards program. Five businesses and two individuals were honored for their contributions and community involvement at the Chamber's annual Honors Night. I think Wichita is a really good community on its way to greatness. And I think for a city to be great, it has to have innovative, vibrant businesses. And the best way to drive to that goal is to recognize the people who create those businesses and then also the employees who help those owners accomplish the goals. The Chamber's Exposure Business to Business Trade Show is another valuable promotional tool. With about 200 exhibitors, this year's show was the largest in the last four years. Leadership programs are another way the Chamber helps build a strong community. Leadership Wichita 2011 introduced 30 people to community issues and leadership principles. So, what's next for Wichita? Plenty. And we're ready for it. Call your Chamber or visit wichitachamber.org.